Rajya Sabha MP Laysem Basana Chauba moves upper house to convert Manipur University of Culture into a central university. Chief Minister Nongthom Bambirin inaugurates three PSA oxygen generating plants at Chandal Ukrul in Senapati District Hospital. Manipur reports 467 COVID-19 cases, 1,405 recoveries and 7 deaths in last 24 hours. COVID positivity rate stands at 15.54%. Agriculture Minister Oinam Lukoi meets aggrieved farmers of Kumbi. Minister distributes 1,600 bags of urea to farmers. Congress MLAK Ranjit slams government for failing to provide subsidized urea to farmers when in need. Former MP Mani Cherenami urges Board Hills and Valley people to jointly conserve biodiversity to prevent calamities like landslides and flash floods. India logs more than 39,000 COVID recoveries and above 35,000 new cases in the last 24 hours. India's recovery rate stands at 97.40%. And security tightens the heart of Independence Day. Combined team conducts counter-insurgency operation at Gualtabi area and arrests three arms smugglers. Good evening and welcome to Impact News. You're watching Primetime English News. To stay protected from coronavirus, wash your hands frequently, wear your masks properly and maintain a safe distance. And I am Premi Thangjum bringing you the news in details. Rajya Sabha MP and titular king of Manipur, Laysem Basana Jauba, has moved the Parliament House to convert the Manipur University of Culture into a central university. He brought up the matter as a special mention in the upper house of the ongoing monsoon session of the parliament today mentioning that even students from bangladesh myanmar and other foreign countries come to learn thangta rasadas and nat sankritan which has been recognized by unesco at the university mp laysemba sanajauba urged the house to convert the university into a central university it may be mentioned that Manipur University of Culture was established in 2015 with an aim to promote and conserve the cultural heritage of Manipur. My special mention is demand for conversion of Manipur University of Culture to a central university. I lay my statement on the table of the house. Chief Minister Nongthom Bambirin today inaugurated three pressure swing adsorption PSA oxygen generating plants, one each at Chandal District Hospital, Ukrul District Hospital and Sinapati District Hospital. The plants were inaugurated with an aim to avail abundant medical oxygen supply for COVID patients in the state. Chandal District Oxygen Plant with 1,000 litres capacity can produce 200 D-type cylinder daily. Highlighting the COVID-19 situation in the state, the Chief Minister urged people to overcome the vaccine hesitancy and asked all eligible persons to get vaccinated as soon as possible to protect themselves from COVID-19. He maintained that early detection and timely treatment will save precious lives from the dreaded disease. He further said that people should not believe in myths, rumors and misinformation about vaccination and the disease. He also informed that the state cabinet has decided to conduct recruitment of manpower for handling the oxygen plant district-wise and appealed to all eligible youths to take part in the recruitment so that the plants could be manned by the people of irrespective respective districts. It may be mentioned that the 15th Finance Commission had sanctioned for the installation of eight PSA oxygen plants in the state, 
two piece plants at Janims, Imphal, and one each at Chandal, Ukrul, Sinapati, Tamenglong, Churchanpur, and Kangpokpi district. Out of these eight PSA plants, PSA plants at Tamenglong, Churchanpur, and Kangpokpi are yet to be inaugurated. Manipur reported 467 new confirmed cases of COVID-19 out of 3,005 samples tested in the last 24 hours. Today's COVID positivity rate stands at 15.54%. As per the latest report from State Health Department and COVID-19 Common Control Room, total confirmed cases of COVID-19 in Manipur have reached 1,4791 out of which 7,006 are active cases. Seven COVID patients died in the past 24 hours, rising the death toll to 1,657. On the positive note, 1,405 recoveries were reported in the past 24 hours. Manipur's total recovered cases have reached 96,128. Instead, its recovery rate has risen to 91.73%. All the necessary medical precautionary measures like containment and contact tracing are in place. Police continue nabbing violators of COVID guidelines issued by state government. Manipur Police Department today detained 46 persons at various locations. Press note from police says a sum of 12,200 rupees were collected as fine from the detainees. State police has so far collected more than 2 crore 54 lakh 81,640 rupees from violators of curfew and COVID SOPs. Later, police released them with a word of advice. Police Department warns legal actions against curfew violators under National Disaster Management Act 2005. Langtawal MLA has urged everyone to take personal responsibility to curb COVID-19 pandemic. He was speaking on the sidelines of paying an inspection visit to the Community Home Isolation Center for Langtabal constituency open at a standard Robert School in Kanchipur today. MLA Karam Shyam said extension of coronavirus-induced curfew and lockdown will help until and unless the public strictly adhere to COVID-19 SOPs. Hence, it would be be wrong to blame the government for rising COVID positivity rate. He informed that out of total 1,560 people infected with COVID-19 in Langtabal constituency, 53 patients have died so far. The MLA maintained that apart from 1 crore rupees under local area development fund, another 1 crore and 67 lakh rupees contributed by people from the constituency and from his pocket have been utilized in fighting COVID-19 pandemic in the constituency. He also said that relief materials have been distributed to more than 12,000 households and 1,671 families under containment zone in the constituency. Emily Karam Shyam also unveiled a new badminton turf court at Langtabal Kunja Wanglaikai Ibudho Bakhamba Laibung today. Vice Chancellor of DM University and Raj Mohan was present on the occasion. <laughs> A koi masel gi marakta understand to bu wat pa marandi a koi curfew salai re lockdown thame kathen thinge miyam pun bai atre har ga sorok ta khakta a koi si gi restriction je lai bodong to reba kolopta yum sing lai minari basing da adi lodu sanaba jwar sanaba adagi yu thamin na ba hausi sanaba mi pun bai ati har ga mi pun laga thabak to bu gi system jina maram oi dana koi covid control to bu ngandre Medical Officer of Urban Primary Health Centre, Langol Tarung, Dr. Ranakumari has appealed to always wear face masks and following COVID-19 SOPs even after getting both doses 
of COVID-19 vaccine. She was speaking on the sidelines of receiving COVID safety kits donated jointly by State Secretary of BJP Manipur Pradesh, Komkam Bikram and NYTK Club Thangmayban for health workers at the center. Apart from face masks and hand sanitizers provided to doctors, Komkam Bikram handed also handed monetary aid to ASHA workers on the occasion. Dr. Ranakumari also appealed to local clubs to raise awareness on how COVID-19 to locals. I did vaccine ka pa bani COVID sangaroi hai na maasu ta bhi koi nga sai COVID ki appropriate behavior. Maasu pa social distancing ya am gana lapa lai hai ba regular hand washing si tog da ba yao ya ba. Kao na reba me am se sum sum COVID se sum um tog salam na haan ba de me am se um kira me. How si ti me am se lai thu na na koi kata mo ong kara me. Sum ke se sum hinga lai se me am se ko. Ako isa isa ki responsibility ne ba COVID se nga ke hai raga de ko. Ay isa na bhaap ta raga de ay me am da ay na sanduok do niya ba loi ma. Ay na bhaap ta ba sum sum ta ka ta hai ba. Isa isa na bhaap ta ba yo. National People's Party and PP General Secretary Chung Kham Bijoy claimed that Every eligible residence of Thangnaucham Lekha in Patsoi constituency will be inoculated against COVID-19 today. He was speaking on the sidelines of a mass COVID vaccination carried out in a locality under his initiative. Which I urge everyone to get vaccinated against COVID-19 as it is the only sure means to protect oneself from the deadly disease. Following complaints over an availability of fertilizers by farmers of Kumbi constituency in Bishnupur district, Agriculture Minister Oinam Lukhoi today personally visited the place and took stock of the situation. The minister distributed 1,695 bags of urea fertilizer to verified local farmers on the occasion. District Agriculture Officer DAO organized the distribution event at the shrine of Kumbi Ibudho Sandong. Agriculture Director K. H. Lalmani, Bishnupur D.C. Krishna Kumar, S.P. Hobson Sapam, DAO and top officials of the Agriculture Department accompanied the minister. Speaking on the sidelines, Minister Olukoy said he acknowledged the difficulties facing the farmers. He added that the farmers should have approached officers concerned, D.C. or himself before raising the issue on media. Recalling that the Agriculture Department has distributed 10,000 urea bags to farmers of Vishnupur district on July 4, out of which 1,527 were provided to farmers of Kumbi, the minister said so far a total of 2,677 bags have been provided. He asserted that the department has relevant documents for the same. Minister Olukoy assured that the remaining farmers will get fertilizers without further delay. He appealed to those concerned not to play dirty politics to tarnish the department which is sincerely striving to help the farmers. He also appealed to inform the department if anyone is found selling fertilizer on black market, adding that actions will be taken against perpetrators. Minister Olukoy also announced to provide 8,000 bags of fertilizers for the second phase at the earliest. Lak Mariga Lissing Nipu, Dago Mena Quigi, the Mukta, Eloketo Viraba, at the same time the Chingaga, Quigi, go down the Pereka Tumba, Nati. A queen of the Pami, put the Chingala, Luna Matumba, running as hard swing of a pectory, sir. She take the Pacha Truk, young Kaisi, when it's any who dad the Lorise, a water pass, sir, in the Agome and a Moyo Pirine, Moy account of Pesha, Changaga, Muclear, and Mutang Tang near Tarese. Say how the Aina Agriculture Minister Oire had an Aiki Matang, Tatanati, for the last many, many years, Mayam Kangio, a low Udi Bishambu district at the Sunati. Media 
Sugnu MLA K. Ranjit has slammed the government for failing to provide fertilizers to farmers after they have carried out paddy transplantation with much difficulty due to scarcity of water. Expressing disappointment that the chief minister has failed to respond to his written request to provide fertilizers to farmers in Sugnu area, MLA Ranjit assured that the issue will be raised in the house of the upcoming monsoon assembly. Session summoned on August 20th, the MLA maintained that he has equally distributed 4,500 bags of urea fertilizer to farmers of the constituency for the first phase. Congress MLA Ranjit appealed to those concerned not to take political mileage out of the prevailing situation. He was speaking on the sidelines of providing meals to inmates of 10 community home isolation center in Suknu constituency today. The MLA also donated monetary aid to COVID task force team. Government has issued area and village wise schedule for distribution of urea fertilizer for all the constituencies in Empal West District. Reportedly, farmers in the district have not been allocated sufficient fertilizers. Speaking to media, President of Rural Development Youth Club W. Kellen said that government has allocated 180 bags of fertilizers for farmers of like in Thabi, Potsangbam, Kulen, Awang Kuno, and Lambal, out of which 100 bags are in Lekintabi and Potsangbam Kulain farmers and 40 bags each of Awang Kuno and Lambal. W. Kellen said farmers of Lambal area required more quantity of fertilizer. Irate farmers and residents of four localities in Lambal area today returned back the allocated fertilizers to the relevant department. W. Kellen appealed to the government to provide at least 250 bags of fertilizers for Lambal area. He added that they have already submitted a written request regarding the same to SDC Lamsan. Ban West DC na tanghum thani ban agasta thoki bo odara magi matungi na lamanda zuriya har big nipu odara thoki rei lamban yoi na big nipu thorok thorok pa odara si tang ma pan nasi nimit asi ki nungthin ki pung ani akai tapa da ida di pamingi mai ki digi har pur galai lapu matam da lamban ki yam lapu miyam na. Former MP Mani Charanamai has called upon both hills and valley inhabitants to strive jointly to conserve forest covers to avoid natural disasters like landslide and flash floods, which affect the state almost every year. He was speaking on the sidelines of a mass tree plantation held to the source of the Makan River, which is known as Aryan Wiki by Liang Mai community today. Save the River Foundation, Makan Village Authority, Makan Youth Club, 38 Assam Rifle and CRPF Camp like Kampokpi organized the event under the aegis of DFO Kampokpi. The former MP also urged the government to take special measures for the hilly residents whose livelihood depend on forest products. Former MP Mani Charanamai, who is also the advisor of Save the River Foundation, said, as hilly residents depend their livelihood mostly on forest products and they are compelled to fall down trees for income. Highlighting the plights facing hilly residents during Landslides, Charanamai stress on need for the government to sanction extra economic packages for them. Speaking on the occasion, Chairman of Save the River Foundation, Z. Siron Bao Niumai, said that more mass tree plantation drives will be carried out in other parts of the state. Hena tuna sentum pananaba, I know Honabadigi, among a same natural forest vegetation, Katalaga, and over Tananaba Honaba, Mono species Taraga Pabi, Amahata, Ye, among Semgalatuna, Smanato, the Gi, Swell, I say, 
Galaxy Senior Secondary School, Sangai Airport Road, Imphalki, Academic Session 2021-2022 ki 11 science ta ming chan ba yaar gani. Pandemic ki awaba si ki yang laga, admission free hoi gani. Admission ki last date na August tara gani paani, makha da pizza di pa contact number si da akupa marol khang biyo. You are the future. School, a place where your future is carved. Exploring new ideas, spacious classrooms equipped with smart boards, well-stocked library, expression in art, educating young minds, even making stronger. This is where you start, cause it all begins with you. Unacker School, excellence in education. Brajalal Institute of Sciences, Yeshkul Moirangkom, admission open for class 11 science. For online registration, please visit the link v-school.in slash admission form slash BIS Moirangkom. Free admission for the COVID pandemic. For offline admission, please visit the school office during 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. For more details, kindly contact 9366201278 or 9862276589 or you can also visit the office during 11 to 3 p.m. Welcome back after the break and you're watching Prime Time English News. India aided 35,499 fresh COVID-19 cases, 39,686 recoveries and 447 deaths in the past 24 hours. As per the latest report of Union Ministry of Health and Family Welfare, there are 4,2188 active cases of COVID-19 in the country. Total recovered cases have reached 3 crore 11 lakh 39,457 and recovery rate stands at 97.40%, while death toll has reached 4 lakh 28,309. COVID-19 vaccine has been administered to more than 50 crore 53 lakh 86,000 people in India so far. Globally, coronavirus has infected above 20 crore, 36 lakh, 1,500 people, above 43 lakh, 10,900 people have died, and recoveries are above 18 crore, 29 lakh, 11,000. USA is the highest active cases of above 60 lakh, 51,000 in the world, followed by Brazil and India. Chairman, come managing director of CJ Hospitals and Research Institute, Dr. Palin Kundongbam, today opened CJ Urban OPD at Keshampat above CJ City Dental Hospital. CJ Hospital was opened the Urban OPD unit at the convenience in registration for OPD at CJ Hospital. CEO of CJ Hospital, Dr. Boni Kundongbam, along with consulting nurse staff, will present on the occasion. The new OPD unit will provide services on OPD consultation, diagnostic facilities, and immunization. It also has ENT, pediatrics, and neonatology, orthopedics, general surgery, surgical oncology, and obstetrics, and APD for gynecology. Public may contact the phone number 936-280-8231 for more details. A combined team of Commando Imphal East Unit along with 15th and 24th Assam Rifles Team and Nangang Pokpi Police Station conducted counter-insurgency operation at Gualtabi area in Imphal East District and arrested three armed smugglers along with arms today. The team under the supervision of Roni Mayengbam, MPS Additional SP Operations, Imphali stopped one silver-colored Maruti Swift Desire driving speedily from Tongo village. The arrested persons are 34-year-old Ningthar Ngalung, son of Lucky Son Ngalung, 39-year-old Gazipam Makang, 
son of Swilang Makang and 38-year-old Achan Nakang, son of late Tennyson Nakang, all from Tango village in Ukrul district. The seized items are 48 9mm ammunitions, four live rounds of barrel gun, two empty case of barrel GU, one single barrel gun. The arrested persons also disclosed that they are going to sell the above items and ammunitions to a person waiting for them at Yangang Pokri Bazaar. The arrested persons along with the seized arms, ammunition, car and mobile phones were handed over to OC Yangang Pokri for taking up further necessary legal procedures. A combined team of 43rd Sam Rifles and Mori Commando has also seized huge cases of arms including guns and bullets from a resident of Mori Ward No. 7 as Moldon Village according to Impact News sources. Acting on a tip of the team raided the house of one villager and recovered arms. The combined team recovered two AK-56 rifles, two M16 rifles, one 9mm pistol, one pistol of G Swore, 9mm one Beretta pistol, one Chinese hand grenade, AK-56 magazine and M16 9.4 magazines and 9mm pistol. 361 bullets of 7.62 mm, 31 bullets of 5.6 mm, 23 bullets of 9 mm, 4.38 mm, 7 small caliber round and 1 binocular 8x. The seized items have been handed over to Mori Police Station but the miscreant is still absconding till the time of filing this report. Security has tightened ahead of the Independence Day. Info West District Police team, along with the 4 District Police Commando Unit personnel, carried out search operations at Oinam Sawongbong in the district today. Police arrested two miscreants along with 65 plastic packets of suspected brown sugar during the search drive, carried out from 4 a.m. till 6.30 a.m. today. According to the police report, the arrested person are 48-year-old, Kulakpam Roshan Khan, son of late Amu Achauba and 70-year-old Kulakpam Ningol Boyamayum Ongbi Ibesana, wife of Boyamayum Arshrab Ali, both from Oinam Sawongbung Dam. They have been handed over to Wangwai Police Station along with the seized items for necessary actions. As a part of the security measures in the view of the upcoming Independence Day, a combined team of Taubal District Police, including Taubal Women Police and personnel of Kongjom Police Station, carried out house to house search operation at Kongjom Mayai Laikai under the jurisdiction of Kongjom Police Station this morning. The search operation was conducted under the overall supervision of Taubal SPH Jogesh Chandra. The team verified 210 people of 80 households, including women, during the drive held at 4 from 4 a.m. till 6 a.m. No one was arrested. Police team also advised residents to get COVID-19 vaccine shots without fail. A team of Vishnupur District Police Commando, including women police, also carried out house-to-house -house search operations at Joypur Kunau area in the district today. Police verified 210 people of the 100 households during the drive carried out from 5.20 a.m. till 7.10 a.m. No one was arrested. Congress Legislature Party meeting on various issues of Manipur was held in view of the upcoming Assembly session of Manipur Legislative Assembly today. CLP leader and ex-former Chief Minister Okrami Bobi, AICC, CWC member Gekhangam and Congress MLAs and Lokin, Dr. Chaltolian Amo, TN Haukip, K. Mekha Chandra, K. Ranjit D. K. Korung Thang, T. H. Lokeshwar, D. D. Thaisi, A. K. Mirabai, Muhammad Fazul Rahim, K. H. Joy Kishin and O. Surja Kumar attended a meeting held at Congress Bhavan in Impa. Manipur Pradesh Congress Committee observed the 79th anniversary of Quit India Movement at Congress Bhavan, BT, wrote today. MPCC Antarim President and Lokin CLP Leader Okrumi Bobi, CWC Member Gekhangam, laid attendees in paying floral tribute to the late leaders of the occasion. Congress Party MLAs, ex-MLAs and office bearers took part in the event. Attendees pledged to protect the freedom of the country with unity. United Development Committee Wabagai Assembly constituency has resolved 
not to support Mohammed Samir Ahmad, an intending candidate for the upcoming state election from Wabagai constituency. Committee President Mohammed Riyadzuddin Ipam disclosed the same to media today. He said that the committee will focus on working for the welfare of the public by keeping politics at bay. He also mentioned that the committee has decided not to support Mohammed Sakir Ahmad as he has failed to keep his words for initiating developmental projects in Wabagai area. Maulana Abdul Salam Sina, Kogi Salaisi, President, Matam Sana Pubirame, Marak Sidagi, Kogi, Kanbenana, Matam Krasad, Borot Company, Hamiba Tanzasida, Maulana Abdul Salamna, UD Sina, Hariba MD Shakir Amataki Laptopa, Hiba Posi, Magi Matamda, Torumba, Rizil Sandoni, and Nasima Amat Hamdrisi, Equisida, Ikona, Perisu, Madulana, Chito, Bamti of the Marmaduna, Ikogi, Hariba, Organization, Aduga, UDC Sibu, Hatermayam Kangri was Halai Sibu, Lana Miskite, Tobuki Tabuksi, Amana to Vigano, a quay subsana, you dish salaisi, Adam Salayona Leragani, Aduga, a quay canago moment, you must interfere to Roy. Napsa card holders of Sigma Jin Manning Laker in Hianglam constituency are reportedly deprived of rice provided under the scheme. They have complained that they are yet to get 5 kg of e rice each under PMGKOY shot by Prime Minister Modi till this November. Speaking to media at Sigma Jin Manning, Lakeai Ward number 5 today, a local Napsa card holder, Longjam Renubala, said all five members of our family are enlisted in Napsa card, which have been already linked with their Aadhaar cards. She alleged that rice agents of the constituency provided rice only for three members of our family for July and August. Above this, only four cages of rice were provided each for the family members and not five cages each. She further alleged that a local who reported about the same on social media was threatened by the agent's party. A resident of Hyanglam, Hiranmai and Yai School also expressed disappointment over disparity in distribution of PDS ration in the constituency. They have urged the government to look into the matter. <laughs> Prime Minister Gi Neta Gi Singh ba si hai tare si putu oga ina ai gi di adharling tau re Singh ju manga hana de gi hona dum pire masi kamai tau non hangkan da moina ai na pairi ba ka si khang de akoi na yau ba si mi ba si si da ina mi ahum da gi hena piru ena hai na ba da gi Singh ju kizi manga yelo hai ba poto akoi kizi mari da yana ba ni aduga ta yau ba mi masi je si le hona mo moina pibi dress da koi na tau zero ba ka da si ta bi dona masi da pungin ching ching bi dona akoi gi haksi pibi na ba. Democratic Students Alliance of Manipur Desam has appreciated the recent announced by Education Minister Sorokai Bamrajain for rationalization of schools and colleges teaching staff ahead of current academic session. In an exclusive interview with Impact News, Desam Secretary General L. Lamianba said that they have been demanding for rationalization of schools and college teachers and to appoint regular college principals. He urged the relevant authorities not to involve politicians, ministers and MLAs during the rationalization. Lamianba also appealed for rationalization of student-teacher college ratio of higher education and to appoint regular principal of colleges requiring the same as it is compulsory under National Education Policy 2020. Rationalization is a very important thing to school colleges ki oza sing he laga leiba oza sing adega wa laga leiba oza sing thaduk thasin torapa matam sileda yamna sumna whatsapp wa nom ba yau da bida mla minister gi dio letter yau da bida makhal amata gi whatsapp wa nom ba se tau da bida yamna kanglon sumna rationalization se masi tau bida kadi hai bi ki thaja ba dumaso ekoi da sabda leijai hiram sileda lenga ki political will abaga loida na pakhat pirak liba asigo ba rationalization gi sathari ba magi Thong Singh se ai koi desam dasu bikup na hum sik na ai koi yeng sin zaraga lay bago loy dena masde ai koi matam matam kiu ai ba mapung pa na madu kiu ai ba sajesan Singh ai koi lega ki mapam da ai koi thamzana bagi na mak sam saraga sulay. Federation of Government College Teachers Association Manipur Fegokta has appealed to the authorities concerned to revoke the July 15th transfer order of 
General Secretary of the Association, Dr. Enzo Morentro from Manipur College to Tamenglong College. A press note from Fegokta issued today said request letters demanding the same have been submitted on August 6 to Chief Minister, Education Minister, the Chief Secretary, etc. in the interests of the students and college teaching community. Application is invited for National Bravery Award sponsored by Indian Council for Child Welfare, New Delhi for 16, 6 to 18 age group. As per a press release from Manipur State Council for Child Welfare, incidents for the award will be considered from July 1st, 2020 till September 30th this year. Last date for submission of the application form is October 15th. The award includes a cash prize, educational sponsorship, medal and a citation. Shaheg Shaiding Saipal Semkat Lup Saipal Imphal has condoled the demise of eminent writers of Manipur Khorizam Nimai Charan and Dr. Soibam Ipocha. Manipur Information Commission staffs held a condolence meeting for State Information Commissioner Dr. Soibam Ipocha retired and MIC Office IPA Secretary at North Block today. Attendees paid floral tribute to his portrait and observed two minute silence as a mark of respect to the departed soul. Writers Forum Manipur has also condoled the demise of eminent translator of Manipuri literature and academician Dr. S. Ibocha, retired IGP. In Afghanistan, suspected Taliban fighters have killed an Afghan radio station manager in Kabul and kidnapped a journalist in southern Helmand province. A local government official said that a gunman shot Tufan Omar, the station manager of Bhaktiya Ghag Radio yesterday, a local news agency reports at least 30 journalists and media workers have been killed by the militants so far in a war-ravaged country. However, Taliban claimed it had no information on either the killing in Kabul or the attracted journalist in Helmand. And now, the sports news. Sports Authority of India is holding felicitation ceremony for India's Tokyo Olympic medalist in New Delhi this evening. The ceremony is being held at Major Dhyan Chan Stadium in National Capital. India has created history by winning seven medals in Tokyo Olympic Games, one gold, two silver and four bronze. District Administration Imphal East has felicitated Olympic silver medalist Saiko Mirabai at her residence in Nongpo Kapching of Imphal East District. Imphal East Deputy Commissioner Kumantim Daina presented Mirabai a bouquet, a memento and gifts. Imphal East SP Harojit Maita Additional DC Chief Executive Officer, Imphal East Zila Parishad, Subdivisional Officers of Porumpat, Kairau Bitra and District Social Welfare Officer were present on the occasion. Before we end, let's take a look at the headlines once again. Rajya Sabha MP Laisem Basana Jauba moves Upper House to convert Manipur University of Culture into a central university. Chief Minister Nong Thombam Biren inaugurates three PSA oxygen generating plants at Chandal Ikrul and Senapati District's Hospital. Manipur reports 467 COVID-19 cases, 1,405 recoveries and 7 deaths in 24 hours. COVID positivity rate stands at 15.54%. Agriculture Minister Oinam Lukoi meets aggrieved farmers of Kumbi. Minister distributes 1,600 bags of urea to the farmers. Congress MLA K Ranjit slams government for failing to provide subsidized urea to farmers when in need. Former MP Mani Taranamai urges both hills and valley people to jointly conserve biodiversity to prevent calamities like landslides and flash floods. India logs more than 39,000 COVID recoveries and above 35,000 new cases in the last 24 hours. India's recovery rate stands at 97.40%. 
and security titans ahead of Independence Day combined team conducts counter-insurgency operation at Gualtabi area and arrest three armed smugglers. And that's all we have in this edition of the Primetime Bulletin. Thank you for joining us. Coming up next is Primetime Manipuri News. For more news, you can also follow us Instagram and YouTube. Till then, have a great evening. Stay indoors and stay safe. Om Siri Hari Saranam Purwasram da ekwe kwai bu kon biramba Sri Khuraizam nimai charan singhana mahakinu shi jaraba imung manum shagai natai maru mapang kwai pumna ma putha dok lam laga hau giba august manga da brindaban prapti oikre august tara da asti sanchai lokhat charaga lakli ba august tara ga tare thawan gi mapani amadi tara ni panba leiba popani mitta chira usab din thokle covid 19 namaram oiraga lenga ki athing ba lai khibana lai khidrawa gi thawram sing asi imung manum khaktamak pangthok jaraga ni Masigi da makwai pum na makna waro bi dana ba noluk chari noluk chari ba kuraizam ningol gambini devi mache ahal kuraizam ningol ive cha devi machan nupi kuraizam ratan kumar singha machanupa kuraizam ongvi megabati devi mama 